continue our team coverage of breaking news tonight. Staying in Little Rock where a man is dead, another is in custody, and a third is still on the run. This was a shooting that happened at the Windermere Apartments around 5 o'clock. Susan L. Corey is there live tonight, gathering more information for us tonight. Susan. Ashley, it's still early in the investigation, but we know a man in his late 20s was found shot and killed near his car, which was in the parking lot of the Windermere Apartments you see across the street here. And police still on the scene investigating. And right now, police are investigate are talking to a man, I should say, that they're calling a person of interest and they didn't actually have to go too far to find him. Officers actually detained him right out on scene. I want to show you. Please tell me the man was in an SUV that matched the description of the one the shooters were in, and they were able to detain him right over there where you see the fire hydrant. Now, this is video we shot of that earlier. You can see officers had their guns drawn. Now, this all happened around 5 o'clock in the 1500 block of Drear Lane, which is right off Geyer Springs. Police believe two or three men were in an SUV when they started shooting at another man. That victim was taken to the hospital where he passed away, and police right now are just trying to figure out what happened, but tell me they do believe this was targeted or danger to anybody else. We, we think they may have known this person somehow or some way they had some type of connection with this person. But the homicide detectives are going to try to figure out now uh, were they in the car at the time or did they come up later or what, but that's what our homicide detectives have uh, determined. Police were out here for several hours. We could see them interviewing witnesses. And one of the things about this area, it's pretty busy. I mentioned the Burger King. There are lots of shops out here. So officers right now are just asking anyone who might have been in this area who could see, who might have seen something that will help this investigation, just to call Little Rock Police. Live in Little Rock, Susan L. Corey, back to you. Susan, thanks very much. And here are some of the answers to some of the questions we still have in the case right now. Police do not have a confirmed suspect in custody, although, as she mentioned, they've been questioning a person of interest. They do not believe that this was random in nature, and because of that, there's likely no immediate threat to the public. If you know who was involved, you're asked to call police. It's a story that we first brought you on our smartphone app. If you want to be one of the first to get a breaking news alert from KARK, just download our app in the App Store or Google Play.